brand new unboxing video for you guys tonight. Tonight we're going to be unboxing a scuba diving flashlight. <coughs> it's IPX slash 80 uh, waterproof rated up to 100 meters deep. Aviation aluminum 6063 aluminum alloy. Um, comes with a super bright United States imported Cree lamp. Fancy, fancy. And, um, yeah. This is the second time I've ordered this exact same flashlight. Um, I ordered a similar unit, well, basically the exact same unit a month ago. And I left it charging on the wall outlet for a good um, 12 hours. It did nothing, it didn't charge or anything, so. I believe the internal battery was damaged or the LED was probably faulty. So I basically returned it to the seller. They shipped me this brand new unit and hopefully this time it works. If it doesn't work, I'll be leaving my review and I'll be telling you guys to just run away from this unit and not even bother. So <laughs> hopefully second time is a charm, right? But yeah. Now basically, here's your switch mode. Actually, let's get the zoom in so you guys can see a bit more better. Um, I love this camera. Oh man, this remote control feature is just fantastic. Okay, so yeah, there's your... Um, ooh, this is tricky. But yeah, there's your um, switch right there. Uh, right there. You got your on-off. It has... Uh, low beam, high beam, and SOS. And back here you have all your specs on the flashlight unit itself. Let me read the flashlight specs for you. Um, bulb, it's a Cree XM slash L2 LED. Max output 600 looms. Max runtime is 20 hours. The built-in battery is a 5400 mAh lithium polymer battery which basically sits uh, back here. Beam distance is 300 meters and the entire unit is basically aircraft aluminum which is really nice. Um, back here is where you basically charge your, um, your flashlight. You basically get this little unit and you basically just plug it right in here. Now if I were to turn this on right now and if it were to light up that means the unit is not faulty and will be working and if I do attempt to charge this it, it will charge. So I'm quite terrified to turn it on right now because I don't want a second faulty unit so let's see if it works if there's a bit of a charge inside. Oh it works yes <laughs> sorry I'm so happy. Yeah, so every time you turn it on, it changes um, your light density. So, so this is low. Um, I don't know how. I don't know. This is low. Can you see? Yeah, that's low. Then it goes to SOS mode, basically like a strobe light, and then it goes to your highest mode. That's pretty bright. I'll probably be doing a light demonstration um, outside in my forest, not tonight but tomorrow night and I'll conclude the uh, final unboxing video of this video but every time you turn it on there's like an information little thingy there let me zoom in so you guys can see a bit more there's like a number so right now it's the lowest mode it gives you like a 9 type of information thingamajiggers then when it goes into um, SOS mode, you get like a 6 displayed. Again, that's your charging socket right there. It comes with a waterproof cap to protect it. Just squeeze on. And then the highest mode, I believe it goes into a 9 again. Oh no, it goes to a 3. I'm not too sure what all these numbers really mean. Probably your battery life or... I don't know. I'll have to read the instructions. But yeah. Really nice quality. I think the unit... Um, I think the unit goes for about, um, let me zoom out, doo -doo -doo -doo. I think the unit goes for about um, 30 bucks, free delivery. I love it, this is so cool. 
As promised earlier, here's a night demonstration of the scuba diving flashlight. Right now it's at the lowest setting. And at the lowest setting, it basically displays a number 9. Now I'm going to switch it to SOS mode. And as you can tell, at the lowest setting, it's pretty bright. Now we'll go to SOS mode. SOS strobe light mode, it's basically at the max output setting. And it also displays a number 9, as you can see. Now I'm going to switch it to the last setting, which is the brightest setting. And at the brightest setting, as you can tell, it is very, very bright and powerful. And it displays a number 5. And for a little scuba diving flashlight like this, it is incredibly bright. Now, yes, I did promise um, earlier I was going to do a night review um, outside in my forest. But I was using a GoPro 4 camera. And GoPro cameras, they're pretty shitty for low light scenes. So it wasn't even picking up this bright light. So I just killed that scene, came back here, and used the real camera, which is my new Sony camera. And as you can see, it's doing a wonderful job of picking up this this light beam. But yeah, really nice um, scuba diving flashlight. I'll be leaving a link underneath the video. Click on it. It will take you to the Amazon seller selling this uh, flashlight. And yeah, you get more product description. I believe more pictures and yeah, highly recommended. I love this baby. Thumbs up. Alright, peace.